Welcome to Operations Management course with me, Yuanita Handayati. In this section, we will discuss how to manage inventory. A company or manufacturer usually sell or produce a lot of product variety. Each product have their own contribution to the company's value. So, how to manage the inventory for each product variety? Which product that we need to focus on? Should we pay attention to all products or should we focus on a certain product? All those questions can be answered by using ABC analysis. ABC analysis is a method that divides on hand inventory into three classifications based on product annual dollar volume. By using ABC analysis, we will have inventory policies that focus on critical parts because it is not realistic to monitor inexpensive items with the same intensity as very expensive items. Products that are classified in class A, that are products that has a high annual dollar volume. Those products represent around 70% until 80% of the total dollar usage, but only represent 15 of the total inventory items. Products that are classified in class B are the product that has a medium annual dollar volume. Those products represent around 15% until 25% of the total dollar usage, but represent 30% of the total inventory items. Products that are classified in class C are the products that has a low annual dollar volume. Those products represent only 5% of the total dollar usage but represent 55% of the total inventory items. Let's take a look at an example of the ABC analysis calculation. Chico is a company that produces 10 variety of chips. They want to know which item that need intensive inventory monitoring. Here is the list of 10 products produced by Chico with the annual volume and unit cost for each product. First, we need to define the annual dollar volume for each product based on the annual volume in units multiplied by unit cost. The annual dollar volume for each product can be seen in the table. This annual dollar volume then divided by the total annual dollar volume to get the percentage of annual dollar volume or usage. Then we sort the products based on their annual dollar volume from highest to lowest. Next, we define the percentage of inventory items. 20% is for class A, 30% 30, 30 for class B, and 50% for class C. Since the total product that want to be analyzed are 10 products, so class A will consist of two products, class B consists of three products, and class C consists of five products. We also define the class category based on the cumulative percentage of annual dollar volume of inventory items. Since the class A consists of two products, the cumulative percentage of annual dollar volume for class A is 72%. Class B consists of three products with 23% of cumulative percentage of annual dollar volume. And class C consists of five products with 5% of cumulative percentage of annual dollar volume. Here is the complete table for Chico ABC calculation. From the ABC analysis, we can have inventory policies that product in class A should have tighter inventory control than products in class B or C. We can also put class A products in a more secure area and have more frequent inventory records. Forecasting for products in class A should be more accurate than the forecasting for other class category. Partnership uh, with supplier of product in class A should come first compared with other products in other class category. Other criteria besides annual dollar volume can be used in ABC analysis. For example, high shortage or holding costs, anticipated engineering changes, Delivery problems or quality problems can be used as criteria to upgrade the products to a higher classification. Other important thing in managing inventory is record accuracy. Record accuracy requires good record of incoming and outgoing product in inventory and also good security of the stockroom. 
A company need to have an accurate record because important decision about ordering, scheduling, and shipping are made only when the firm knows what it has on hand. The accurate record of inventory needs to be verified in continual basis. This continual verification system is known as cycle counting. The frequency of counting is based on the ABC classification. Product in class A will be counted frequently, usually once a month, while product in class B will be counted less frequent, once a quarter for example. Then product in class C will be counted every six months. Let's summarize what we have learned in this topic. We have several methods to manage inventory. First method is ABC analysis that use annual dollar volume of product to categorize the products into three classes. We need to pay attention more to class A products. We need to check the inventory more often, have a more accurate forecast, and put our resources more to manage the class A products. Second method to manage inventory is record accuracy. Company also need to have record accuracy to know what on-hand product they have in order to make an accurate decision. The third method to manage inventory is cycle counting. It allows the cause of errors to be identified and decide action to be taken and also maintains accurate inventory records. I hope you enjoy the video. My name is Yuanita Handayati. See you in the next operations management topic.